how. We are live. We are live. We are live. Please drop your name and your location. Drop your name and your location. Look around the room. This is leadership very fast. How many leaders do you have right here? Because it's always about your leaders. Two, drop one, drop two, drop three. Who got the highest leadership right here today? If you have just one leader, drop one. If you have none, drop none. And um, so you see that a lot of us right here have nobody. And then you can see that also. Please, if you have one, drop one. If you have two, drop two. If you have three, drop three. Top say three leaders in the room. Yeah. Network marketing is more about your leadership. How many leaders do you have on the system? How many, how many, how many? Remember, we are not paid for size. We are paid for strength. We are not paid for size. We are paid for strength. I've always recap all this thing, though this is not what I'm going to be teaching today. It's not, I, already, I would rather have a small net, but a strong one, than to have a large net, but a weak one. A lot of the person spend their years in network marketing building a weak net, a weak net. A weakness. I'm going to learn about that again another time. But one of the things you need to know is to build a strong net, you need to have leaders. How many leaders do you have on your structure? That's what decides the strength of your network. And Saturday Leadership Breakfast is the best room to look for your leaders. I'm looking for my leaders. Mr. Moses, I don't know how to know leaders. The people here are the people leading in your business. So if you are here alone, you are the only one truly, genuinely leading that is spent between recruiting and leading. So it's all about building a strong name. So check the room again. How many leaders do you have right here? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Some of us have been in this business for years, but you don't have any leadership. You don't have any leadership. Okay, Gary Apost, eight. Gary Apost is angry. He's becoming a general very soon. I can tell you, Apost is growing every day. Eight, eight active leaders in the room. Wow. Followed by Solomon David. Solomon, four. Gary Apost, eight. Apostles got eight, Solomon got four. It's all about leadership. There is no complexity to the game. You come to the meeting room, you're the only one here for one year, and you're asking why is your business not growing. Yeah, you're missing it. <laughs> the more, it's not the numbers of persons you can recruit that decide team building. Team building is how many leaders are you producing? Because leaders produce leaders. So if you're not producing leaders, your structure will not be strong. Natana promise trade as also. Somebody is not hearing. You could help that person. Does he know that? One strong leader. Okay. Okay, one for now more will soon join. Okay. Yeah, Umi, you're coming from Zaria. That's called good. We celebrate you. Makodi, love to people. Okay, one strong leader. I wish a lot of us can get your leaders right here in this room. You don't want to be alone. They talk back. People ask me what's the secret. I said the secret is leadership game. It's a leadership factory disguised as business. We are not paid for size. We are paid for strength. How do you build a strong net? A strong net you have to focus on to have a very strong net. Very strong net. When I mean strong one, strong one. Most persons usually don't have a strong net. So network marketing don't get to favor them. But when you have a strong net, you are good to go. It's always about the best place to pitch your net is counting your leaders. You could have 100 persons registered and you don't have any leader. 
and the whole job will be on you. At this stage of my business, I'm focusing all my energy on those exhibiting the leadership traits. If I can't find you on this meeting, trust me, it is definitely going to be a problem working with you long term because uh, you will either give me a problem or I run away. So definitely one way or the other. So I only can't press people in this room. I kept saying I have over 30,000 persons registered. How many do you see on leadership meetings? That's the way we count the numbers. We don't count the registered members, we count the leadership. How many? How many? How many? And this is the reason why I'm always up here day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, night and day, the leaders develop and produce other leaders. I'm happy. Previously, a boss would come to a meeting and write just one. Today, a boss is writing nine nine does is this does sonia sonia meto is it does he or what does he change your name to dozy <laughs> why used to be in sonia so you say does it nine nine does it got nine wow since those is the one we lead in today so those is on nine got your post is on eight awesome awesome so this is interesting I would rather have a small net but a strong one than to have a large net but a weak one. We are not paid for size. Don't forget these things. We are paid for strength. What would be the strength of your network? Number one, the consumption of products. How many customers do you have on your system? Because customers are everything. How many persons are truly getting satisfied with your product? You have to create a system that allow people and users benefit from your product. There are people who will not buy this business, but they will love to use the product. How many customers do you have on your network matters a lot. Do you know why? Because customers, people who just use our product and they're having significant results will be attached to the products. So every month, you are so sure that you have points coming in because people will always buy from your nets. You are building a net, guys. That's what you need to know. You are building a net. Every month, people will always buy from your net. So, you have to do that and uh, say to yourself every day that this is something I have to do. The next thing you want to focus on if you want to be the strong net is um, leadership. Lead how many leaders do you have? How many leaders do you have on the structure? If you don't start, the best form of leadership you can ever portray, like I always show people, is not to force people into doing things, but to do it. This business is monkey see, monkey do. You want your leaders to be coming to meetings like this, you have to be present in this meeting. Some persons are struggling their business just because they are not ready to lead. If you're ready to lead, you will get results. That's the truth. You can't produce other leaders when you are not leading yourself. And what's the best language for leading? Just do. While you are doing it, you see, a child is growing up, learning from his father without the father saying much to him because as the father is doing, he's looking and emulating and he's following. The same with network marketing. Just do. Come to meetings like this every day. Your downlines are coming, they are not seeing you. Very soon, they won't consider you as a leader. Very soon, they won't call you for any issue. Very soon, you'll be talking, they are not listening because you are not leading. So you need to learn that leadership is not by being an upline. Oh, I am your upline. My dear, will you listen to me? That's not leadership. The goal is you need to learn that for you to lead you need to be present some persons are not even present on any meeting but they want to lead they just want to call them I, I, i'm your upline that's why i'm telling you listen to me listen to me that rubbish nobody has upline does not mean leadership leadership must be portrayed you have to exhibit it and i want to really advise us in this meeting is my major work for you guys is to learn how to be the strong net. So, focusing on your customer 
updates, you want to have a large consumer base on your network, you want to have people that are leading on your network. And to have people that are leading on your network, show them the right example. Show them the right example. If you have customers and you have leaders on your network, you have end users and you have customers, you have end users and you have leaders, trust me, you have a strong network. You do have a strong network. So powerful, I just, I believe that is, you know, vibe for what I wanted you to know from that teaching. So this is what I'm looking at for right now. As we go to the major topic I wanted us to discuss today. Okay, I'm seeing eight leaders, my jade four leaders, Jose Potako two now, awesome. Samuel five, Samuel you used to lead the game before, but now you're on five. People are taking over somewhere. All right, so this is what I want to share with us right here today. It's a strategy that has worked for me in building this business. I want to talk about the different ways we can earn with this company. Throughout this week, we've had great fun, back-to-back -back learning. Every morning, we were up trying to learn something new. If you've learned a lot throughout this week, your notes are filled up for those who were writing and for those who were moping. Uh, just write for me that you've learned a lot throughout this week. You see, not everybody is going to use my information. And I really don't talk for everybody to be my fan. I talk for you to learn. And those that are learning are acting. And those that are not acting, trust me, I still don't have a problem with you. I just know it's such as life. Um, to act is with hunger. If you don't have the hunger, you can't do much. There are four different ways you can make money with pure four different ways you can make money with pure and i want to share those ways with us today because it's important we talk about it the four different ways we can make money with this company and how as a leader you can genuinely take advantage of those ways where you can make money with what we have now So, this is the beauty of what we have right here. And I want to share this with us quickly so we can all embrace this whole information and see how we, we get our business rolling and taking to the next level. We, our country, because I'm going to share this with us right here, leaders, so we can really take note of this. We have the stockist way people make money with stockies yesterday and did a nice job on the game. It's awesome. And um, see, my audio is poor. Let me use my data directly. Am I clear enough now? I think this will be better. So, the Funky Friday yesterday was was powerful. I, I just realized that people, uh, the stockist business is one major business you can train people to use to survive with our company. You know, when Chinedu said he's making enough money on stockies, he has gotten his capital back and now he's on profit. I can tell you that makes so much sense to me. I knew when Chinedu was about to start, he was skeptical, he wasn't sure, should I put in this money? Should I bring you this money into this? Almost all the stockies I've ever had, they were not so sure. But right now, a lot of them are going out of, they're running out of product, they are wondering, because their fear at the beginning was, are you sure this will move? I said, see, I have seen companies where people are running stockies on a product that is not even selling. And they are crazy about it. How much more? a product that we can all bet that pure product is the number one leading health product right now. Which other network marketing products that Med Plus is proud to talk about? Which other network marketing product that Health Plus is proud to talk about? Which other medical products, other network marketing products, because we have a whole lot of claims out there. Somebody was talking to me, our product work, our product work, our product work. I said, no, it's not. I said, I'm not doubting that your product work. I said, you see, noise is noise. Pure came in just a few months ago to Nigeria. 
and a whole lot of medical fees are running after our product. What does that say to you? Are you thinking they didn't get to see your own product? They saw your product, but they didn't run after it. They saw other connects of marketing product. They were not after it. Everybody was coming for pure, 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 pure. And you know my philosophy in business. If you have something the world needs, even if you live in the bush, people will make bush track and look at you. When I saw the pure opportunity, I knew, man, I have something people will come for. So we're patient to watch it grow. Now, those who came in as a stockist, they're benefiting big time because there's always a demand of our products. There's always someone saying, where is pure? How can I get pure? And now because people are always saying, where is pure? How can I get pure? We're always in business. We're always trying to see that, okay, then we can pull out this thing out. Now, if anybody is coming in as a stockist, what do you describe to them? If you want to get people to join as a stockist, you want them to join your business as a stockist. See, these guys are making, they have serious advantage. Number one, if they are coming in as a stockist, the company will stock them products. You know, if they have access to products, they can choose to, but the idea about this product is, the company want them to run the product off and then pay them 10% of their investments. Two ways they can push up this product. Number one, they can have members of the company come to pick from them. Number two, they can choose to also retail it by themselves and then pay to the company's account, like buy their own stock. Like for example, a, a, I'm a registered member. So what I can do now is, as a stock is, we have the 60K pack, we have the, we have the 60K, we have the 165, we have the 320, we have the, the, the 60K, the 320, the 165. I don't know why I always put it that way. 60K, the 165, the 320. Now, these three packs are there. Among these three that were supposed to really push out, if I'm a stock is, I will pick, maybe I pick the 320K pack. That will give me 55,000 naira. Or I picked the 60K pack as a stock is from myself. I paid that to the company's account, not on my own name, but I paid that under a new name under me. Now, if you pay that, you get 14,800 every time you pick a 60K pack. 14,800. Now you have few products. That one you pick at is the one you will sell on retail. But you pick from your stock is. So if you retail that and that one is off the markets, you are done retailing that. You made money 14,800 because you refer, you bought the pack under yourself. Like you refer someone down there you who bought the pack. But you did that under yourself. So you got 14,800. And then you were able to sell the product. By selling pure product alone, you could make 100% of your money back on that pack. Let's say you did 60K, you could get possible 60K back as profit. That's very possible now. Let's assume we got 60K back as profit. So you got 60K on that same pack, and then you got 14,800 by referring people. And that's the dot your stock is pack also, making you get um, your stock over. And then at the end of the day, you get back to 14, you get back the 10% from the company. Stockists have that edge, products. But the one I love most among the stockists is the fact that they can start a team. They can launch a team. You know, team building is everything right here. There are weeks my money gets to a million naira, not because I got a lot of person join, joining the business that week. I might not even have anybody joining that week, but that week my money will still get to a million naira, one person, because of team. Now, most of us are not aware that it's a team building that brings the money. That's a residual money. Great, this is the stock what stockists can do with the products. They can choose to refer people, and the people who pick product from them, they make money on referral and they make money on their products moving out. They can choose to even use their own money to buy the pack under themselves, buy the product like they're buying a pack, and then retail the product at they make money on referral, they make money on retail, and then they still make money on their stockists again. That's what they do with the product. But the company still says because you are coming in as a stockist. Every of the pack, if you pick the stockist plan of, we have 640, we have 1.2 million, we have 
five, and we have uh, five million. Why I think this is very important is because what I'm thinking this is very, very important is, let me see if I can share my camera like this better. Uh, can we all see the board? Okay. So what I'm thinking this is very, very important is because the, uh, this is 40, 1.2, 2.5, this thing. When I came into network marketing at first, uh, I'm so happy that I have Pastor Benga right here. He knows about this story very well. I was just a poor boy looking for money. I was so broke. I was broke that I know very well that, like I, you would know that I'm broke, of course. There was no way I could pretend it, but I just have an idea of success, but I was still looking very broke. So I was running around um, Pastor Benga then. He was a very successful man. I told him, I want to start business. And then he told me to come over to his house. There's someone running his network marketing seminar. And I was really, really not a lover of network marketing as I then. I felt these guys are wasting people's talent. My belief about network marketing about 2013 was people just want to use you. People just, this company, there's no way you could sell me into this thing because anything you're going to say to me, my mind is telling me, you just want me to bring my money here. That money, if I put it on my personal business, I will go, let me go and put it in something that my own personal business, which is the same way a lot of persons are thinking today. They want to put it on their personal business. I said, if I put it on my personal business, I will go far. So I don't have any time. There's no way you can get me involved in network marketing. But because uh, Pastor Benga is someone I respect a lot, he has been a business mentor to me, uh, like a father that I follow. So I told him, I'm not, I can't say no to him. So when he said I should come to the presentation, I just went there and I went to listen to the presentation. Why they were presenting, that was the first time it left my eyes. <sighs> like, this is business. I didn't know it was business because I wasn't attending network marketing seminars. From afar, I've judged it already. From afar, I have an idea that this is not what I want to spend my time doing. So the first time I went there, he wasn't a networker. Someone came with the products and the person is doing fine with it. And he observed me to be a young man with determination, but with the wrong direction. Why don't you spend that energy on this part? He wasn't making his money that way. But so when I went there, I saw somebody making money that way and the person was doing fine. And I said to myself, why don't I come into this stuff and do it? So when I was ready, he told me something. He said, Moses, fine. And I don't have the money to even join. That was how bad it was. Because the highest I've made as a then in a month was 30,000 Naira as per monthly money that comes in. That if I have to, that if it will come in, well, I was just there running around everything, looking for one thing or the other to do, selling things to do things, selling, selling my own laundry. I was making money, but that profit was not the change in my life. If I make money, maybe highest get to 50K, when next will I see that again? But I came to the meeting for the first time. I saw someone talking about 3.5 million naira with ease, as a god. My hope was if I can hit 150 million naira in this network marketing company, I'll be one of the most successful person anyone can talk about. So I went to him and he said, are you ready? If you've listened to the presentation, do you want to do it? I said, yes, I want to do it. And he said something to me. He said, okay, fine, if you want to do it, and I know you don't have the money, I'm going to lend you that money. I'm going to borrow that money and all of that. You start your business. I said, wow, are we? Now he gave, he was able to start up a whole lot of persons. And I was one of those persons that was empowered to join. From that registration alone was how I started my network marketing journey. I took that, pro I went home and I joined the company and I looked at it like, wow, this could be my opportunity. Now it wasn't the same with others actually. But I think it did, let's say everything is a game of numbers. It did like 10, let's say 10 persons. And out of the 10, I was the only one serious person that understood it as my own business. And I went further beyond his registration and I started building the business. From me alone, he was making serious amount of money, even with that, because he had somebody like me that he gave opportunity to see the plan. And now that changed my whole life. And that company wasn't having a stockist plan. 
It was just someone who has money thinking of why don't I use this money to get people involved in something that can change their life. And I was one of those persons. I didn't have the money to start, but I started that way and I started building my life. And today, this is how I started making money. And it has been one of the most useful things that ever came to my life. Now, when people are shouting 640, 1.2, 2.5, because of the product, because of the 10%, all I'm saying is because of the team they can build. Now, with this 640, let's have somebody get 1.2 million. You will have access to empower over. 20 persons. See, you don't know what this thing It means a lot to me because I came into network marketing that way. You can have 20 persons on this system who will join this business. They have nothing they are doing right now. Some are broke doing nothing. Now, because you empower them into joining, like when I came in, I had no idea about network marketing. This was how I started learning. So I started reading books. I wanted to be that champion because let's give these people free job. They have nothing they're doing already. And already, most of them don't even have the 60,000 error to join. They have no hope of joining with us. But they can learn how to sell these products, invite people who can afford it, and show people the wonders of what we have. So knowing this is possible, Knowing all of this can come to pass. So all I had to focus my energy on was for those who are coming in as a stockist. It's very simple. 1.2 million can have you 20 persons. Have it in mind that beyond just the 10% you'll be having, there are people you're going to empower on your left and your right. Now, I'm going to share with you how to make these people useful to you. Because if you have 20 persons left, 2.5 million can even have you 40 persons on your structure. 40. 5 million can have you 80 persons. You and your upline can look for anybody. Out of these 40, there's only one person. One person. This will not be a game changer. I've seen some leaders right here doing so well, it was free stock is planned, they started with. Today, they are champion. And now that stock is benefiting from their efforts because that's what we call team building. Now, the stock is want to come in, he gets the structures like this. If he's having 42.5, he put 20 persons here. He put 20 persons here. If he has 20 persons here, 20 persons here. Meaning that anything these 20 persons get to do, left and right, because the company pay you 10 from your bootlegs. And this both volumes, any volume these 20 persons are generating, we can count, we count for the left team and count for the right team. And all of this will be totaled every single week. The company will pay on this every single week. And this is built big because if you're on 2.5, you are sure of having 20 solid persons. So plan yourself. Don't just say, Oh, it doesn't mean I just want the 10%. This is where the millions is. Imagine if out of this 20 person, one person becomes very serious. And one becomes very serious. You will have a long time. This is bigger than any other investment you've ever done. Because what we are chasing is a project of one million. One person can take your entire team to one million persons on your left. One million persons on your right. I came into somebody's business today from me alone, more than 30,000 persons, more than a million persons will pour out. Just one. But you see, why we why you are going through a whole lot of numbers because you don't know who is who. But you need to have the mindset of taking this advantage of this aspect the company has given to us. Most companies stockies don't have this access, they only talk about the percentage you will end. But the beauty of Pure is that you can launch a team with this thing. You can launch a team as a stockist. Now, if I'm coming in as a stockist, you have an easy, you are going to rank faster than any other person, of course. That will give you fast rank because you have a team already. So you will rank almost immediately. But now on the long term, how do I keep making money from the networking as a team? You see these guys here. 
people make the error to just register only their names. They open multiple, they call it multiple accounts. So what they do with it is that they go there and register more of their set. That's a waste of time. They're wasting space. Get those accounts to people who can work. People who truly you can talk to their life. Some of us with enough money right now. If you have over 2.5 million, you will agree with me that are people disturbing you for money already. If you have over 1.2 million, there are people disturbing you every single day. They need you to be their God help. And you know very well that no amount of money you will give to them will change your life. You will only take this money and come back again. Take this money and come back again. Take this money. Sometimes they take the money and they've got ashamed of talking to you because they've been taking it out and they are not still useful. This is what I advise you to do with them. Let them join their both average community. Imagine if your 20 empowered legs are on this meeting, our training. If they are here every single day, one person will believe it, right? That he can do whatever I'm doing. That's all you need. And immediately he believes he can do it because it's belief. But that was how I started. I saw the person making so much in the company. And I told myself I can be like this person. I told myself I can be like this person. And I believe it. I, think I failed in all, but I was ready to keep pushing. Now, now today, I'm then in my time, nobody was there to train, to put me through training. So most of the person, my upline was able to register there, couldn't do like me, couldn't perform like me because nobody was mentoring them. I was able to figure my way out. But now what I'm doing right here is a way that we have more persons perform very well using this model. How? Bring them to training. We teach them the power of invitation. If your guys can learn how to invite, just like I'm teaching a lot of persons how to invite, in no time, they will duplicate the same level of results that I'm talking about. So we are going to teach them. So imagine if you have 20 persons inviting five, five persons to every meeting, meaning that you, the stockies, have five, 20 persons inviting five persons is five times 20. That should be 100 persons in the meeting. Meaning that you, the stockies, have invited over 100 persons without you putting effort. That's what we call leverage. You now have a team. Whatever your team is doing, you still have access to make money on it, little by little. So as friends, as you are launching your stockies, please launch them well. This thing should not be wasted. Look for people who can invite. This job is, they might not be able to sell products. No, selling is not their job immediately. They are not there to go and sell products. No, their job is to invite people to come and know what we are doing. We are network marketers. And what we do in network marketing is to sell this product through people's network, simply by inviting people to come and take a look. And we work with numbers game. If you invite 10 persons, there's high chances that only one will join. So imagine you have to go through 10 to get one, 10 to get one, 10 to get one. You see how the magic works. So if you are coming into this system and you're just joining us for the first time, the beauty of what you're going to be experiencing is, so you, you need to now know how to invite. We share with your people, how do I start this invitation? Because that's what I want to teach on this right now. How everybody can learn how to invite, invite, present, show them the plan, and then how to do the follow-up. If you're 20, you can learn these skills by coming to this meeting and the master these skills, meaning you have 20 persons that are doing these things. 10 left, 10 right. Imagine if you have over 80, out of the 80, let's say 40 are doing this thing. You as a team, this is how some of the stockies I've been working with for some time are making money. They are happy. They make money on their stockies plan, they make money on their referral. When they look back, they realize that they've never, there is no loss in their decision. Because the money just keep coming in. I have the stockies that have both legs, active, strong, and is making money every single week on those legs. Because I was able to build it right. So I want to help you guys right now. What do you want your, your stockies members to know? That's the free members coming in. These things are just the basic thing. I've been teaching it, I think you guys to master it. We have CC. We have EE. 
we have FF. Don't forget this, and we have WW. That's all I want them to master when they join, when you enroll them. CC, PE, FF, WW. CC stands for contact like crazy. Contact like crazy. Getting contacts. It's all about building lists. So when you hear CC, you know we're talking about list building. List building. List building. They build, you have to learn how to build lists. You see, some of us join this business, someone enroll you for free, and you can't even sit down and build a list. You see, your problem was never pure. Your problem was never lack of money. Your problem is you. I just want to use a very good word. You don't have a productive mind. You can't see beyond where you are, where you are currently. But it should take us to the next level and help us perform very well as planned. This is the culture that I want you to follow. This is the culture. List building is the first thing. So if you have, if you are coming as a stockist from the one, you are not struggling. You have people already you're going to be showing this to. They can come here to learn it. Do you understand? But the first task everybody needs to know, whether you're a stockist or not, you're a member in this business and you want to grow, you need to learn how to build a list. I was giving us an example yesterday. Take your smartphone. You can take your smartphone. When you start your business, your list is fresh. Take your smartphone and then drop 10, 10 names every day. In seven days, you've had 70 names on your list. If you do 20, 20 names every day, in seven days, you have about 20 times 70. That's several, that's close to 140 names on your list. Now, if you have 140 persons on your list to show this plan to, if you are dropping 20, 20 names every single day, this is how the duplication will come. Today, 20 tomorrow, to drop to Sorry for that. All right, so please, if you are getting value from this meeting today, let me know you're getting. Value, you're getting value. All right, so this is powerful, guys. This is powerful. So, CC is list building. You are building your list when you talk about CC. You have to learn how to build your list. So, this is one thing everybody needs to learn, one way or the other. Everybody needs to learn how to build a list. It's not a matter of I am, uh, uh, um. I'm into this and I don't want to. If you don't want to, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't be here because this meeting is for those who want to learn, for the leaders. If you know you're not ready to make more money because they don't force everybody. This money idea is a decision you have to make for yourself. So where do you start building your list from? Your phone book. Go to your phone, go to your contact list, sit down one after the other and bring down names you have to get on your book. That's the first thing anybody can do. Making it practical, nothing complex. You all have a phone here and everybody have over 2,000 persons, 1,100 persons in their life. If you have less than 500 persons in your life or 400 or less than 100 contacts, 
trust me, you are not living. Everybody have above, above 200 or 200. So go to your phone, start picking names. Don't give me that fact because I know people usually do that, saying to me that you, they have, they don't, the people on their phone are not serious people. Don't give me that fact. Don't sit with those mindsets. Go to your list, just obey, pick the names. Now, these are the different persons you will see on your list, so you can get them to that. Understand? Some of them, they are, the persons on your list, there are people who some have been involved in network marketing before, and they have made a vow never to. Be rest assured that you're going to meet them on your list. And some of them are looking for a good company, but they don't know which one to join. As I'm talking to you now, they are searching and they're on your list. They are right there on your phone. They are looking, they are searching, but you don't know which of them. Now, some of them on that your phone are tired and sick of their job, but they don't know where to go to. They are right there on your list. Some of them on your list, these are things you need to have on your, in your mind before you start talking. Some of them on that list, they have their parents going through serious health issues. Only our product can be a solution to them. And they are right there on your list. And some of them right there on your list are, are currently looking for other ways to make money added to what you are doing currently. They have money, but they're looking for a way to put their money right, invest their money, and they see their money work for them. They are right there on your list. They can be your stockists. Boom. You have all these people down, but you don't know them. So you see, because I don't know who is going to be a customer. I don't know who is going to be a stockist. I don't know who is going to be this and that. So all I have to do is to be sure that I'm not just leaving anybody one way or the other. So you write the names down, you put the phone call, you check on the person, wait and see the person telling you, I don't want to do anything like that. I don't want things like that. And this is what I usually say to you. When you come to this building, you don't have to present, to avoid going to your list to send a full pure videos, recorded everything. Boom! To people you have never asked the question, the magic question. Because you need to have the magic question. You need to either open them up. They open them up in different speeds. Like I gave someone a write-up this morning. That write-up is just to open the person to say, yes, your opening question should not have an idea. They should not have an idea of the company you're about to talk about. They should just be curious and interested in what you want to say. That's how you open them up. You don't say to them, you don't go to your list because you have a name on your phone, you have broadcast, you don't want to talk to anybody, you just send them broadcast message and wait for them to just read the broadcast message and call you on phone and say, Mr. A, I saw what you sent, I think I love it. The only time people do that and get calls is when they are selling Ponzi scheme or fraud. You know, people usually buy fraudulent things and the right things. It's easy to just send a message to people that have sent Send, I, I put 200,000 naira somewhere, and in three days, I got 300,000. Send that message viral. You will still see people that will call your phone and tell you, wait, 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 wait. I want to give you that same thing also. I have 100K too. Wow, you got 100K. Awesome. Put me in. Register me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Ah, ah. You didn't tell me on time. Now, you should be calling me on time for things like this. How long have you lasted? Oh, one month, two months. I'm telling you, send viral messages like that. You will sur it will surprise you to see some of your intelligent friends that look very intelligent on their status. They will be the first person to write you that they want to join. Send them ID companies like, like Pure. Like I want you to come into companies like Pure where we have products. They will never respond to you. They won't even act like they have health issues or they need health. They will abandon your message and dump it. They won't call you. So we know they will not call. Be aware they will not call. Have it in your back of mind, they will not call you. You will need to call them. Now, our job is to help the blind see, not with pure products, with our information. People are blind. They don't see. Ignorance can blind the mind. Remember, ignorance is knowledge at a particular level. So people just go blind. They don't see anything. All they just know about is they want to join this company and then you make money. No, that's what they are saying. You need to go and correct it from there. 
So I would prefer if you send them a message that doesn't talk about pure. They don't talk about your age. They don't talk about pure. They don't talk about the, anything that has to do with it. this company. What they will need to know is very straightforward, yet clearly, is they will need to know how to just open them with a question. Hi, I'm about to launch something big with some great guys. Any of these opening questions can get anybody interested, as long as they are not having an idea of what you're about to say to them. They are careful not to say yes or no, because they might be leaving something they are not aware of. So they want to know first. So if they're interested in knowing, then you ask them when can you offer them a video to watch or a little audio to listen or give them an invitation to come to a presentation. If you can invite them professionally, the easiest way to invite, take note of this, so you can get the techniques and create your own script and create your own course that will be interesting. Make them interested. Make it important enough. They call it edification. Edify the meeting. Don't just say, I'm inviting you to a presentation. Edify the meeting. If you want somebody to listen to your upline, that guy who signed you up, if you edify him where your friends will be listening to him, he knows his presentation better than you. You don't have to call Mr. Moses. Somebody got into the, or two persons above him got into the business. Edify him. Don't just say there's one guy I want you to talk to. That's wrong. You're killing your own business. Edify him. I have a friend who is now like my business mentor. I was privileged to know about this stuff from him. And guess what? He's the next rising star in this company. And this company is a billion dollar company. See, you are a friend to me too. With what I'm about to do, I consider you as one of the first persons to get to listen today. I want to put you on the call with this, my friend. He's going to tell you about our plan. See, how many persons can you pick on your list? You have somebody who signed you up. If the person is not kept, there's a team leader above you there that is ready to answer that call with you and that person. I love team leaders like uh, Dose, team leaders like Lore, team leaders like uh, Gary Apostle, team leaders like Samuel. So these guys are there for their people. Now, this is one thing you need to do for your people, for those of us in leadership meetings. You need to understand how to close sales for your people too. But that's one of the things I wanted you to show you know, but this is one beautiful thing about this. That's an option too. You can come in and say, oh, I'm closing, I'm calling you right now into this business. Uh, you want to call your list, you put up the call and let them know. Or if you're not having anybody that can do the talk for you, you want to send a video, edify the video. If nobody is there to talk for you, oh, I have a little audio. When I listened to this audio, I couldn't sleep. It gave me a restless mind for the day I listened to that audio, I have been very busy with my mind. I think this is one of the best videos you anybody can listen to. It has everything to change anyone's financial life within the next couple of months coming. You see, I'm not just saying it like anything. If you don't put anything you don't give value to, people don't give value to it. You have to learn how to give value to things. I'm giving you this pen. You want to go and talk about this like a pen like this. Somebody will come and say, there's a white and black pen. Only generals use it. Only generals use it. The first time I got to know about this white and black pen, men, I saw men of high um, integrity, calibers, and all of that, they are the ones holding this white and black pen. And that's the only reason I'm talking about this pen. So I don't think this is the pen you should have with you because you have not shown sign of men. I'm just talking anything I can say, but I'm telling you that I'm putting value to it. I'm putting value to it. So you have a list. The problem is you're not saying it well. The problem is you pick up phone, you're sending brokers because you're always looking for a shortcut to succeed. Then you should never admire the great success. Stop believing those lies that say there are easy things you will do and you will not do and you will make money. No. The guys doing the, telling you those things are the ones doing the hard work. 
trying to get you interested. But you, you will come in and do nothing and you will not be rich. They are lying to you. Get the game. Understand how it works. You have to do something. You have to make the calls. So can you make all the calls in the day? I was talking with a friend last night that just got into the business. And I told her something. I said, she said now she has time. She wants to go. She wants to know. She wants to attack it. I said, no, it's not about attacking it. It's about having a system, something you can do daily. 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 How many calls can you make? I'm going to be making five calls every single day. You have built the list. Five calls. What are you telling them? I'm going to be edifying what we have. Edification does not necessarily involve you presenting the plan. You are just edifying it. You are letting them know that, see, there's something big in Africa. In fact, I can realize now that only serious mind go and build your edification story. Build on it. Then when you build an education story, you now invite. Because when you edify it, the person will say, I'm interested. It's okay, fine. Two o'clock, what is your time? 8 p.m. in the night. You say, I'm free. Awesome. If you are free, 8 p.m., join us on a live call. We're going to be learning about the company's product and the company business because you did a strong edification. You'll be willing to come in. You edify it very well. You make it look very important. But when you don't do that, you just pick up the phone and say, I mean, what are we doing right now? Now we're not doing anything. I come and join this meeting. You say, come and join this meeting. You're wasting your time. You, you, you say you're unserious. Because you're unserious, you get unserious people. Make it look serious. Make them know this is something that you will not do on a normal day. But if you of all persons is considering it, trust me, this is important. I was busy searching for the right company. I think I found one. I know you know, I know, hi, I know you know I'm looking for something serious I want to do in my life. I don't know if you know that, but trust me, I have been searching. And I have several companies in front of me, but I think I just found one. This has a lot that anybody can change his life within the next couple of years. And I can tell you, if you come and take a look, your mind will blow away. Trust me, you will thank me after this. All of these are identification. He doesn't know about the company. Even if he knows about the company, who oh, have you heard of Pure? If you say, yes, he knows of Pure, I can see a Defy Pure. Man, you know about this. This is one of the biggest thing right now in Africa. I've been telling, I've been looking through a whole lot. But what I saw with this company is unique. And that's the best way. You see, the same thing you have, someone will talk about it well, and you will see value. But another person will talk about it, you will see no value. Because this other one knows, education does not mean you are lying or you're hyping. Education means you are bringing the attributes that people can see. We are making it obvious. Currently, Pure is one of the biggest companies in Africa, currently, one of the next giants growing. If you don't talk about it like that, somebody else will go and say, oh, are we out of Pure? I think uh, they, are, they, are, they are good, though. they are good. That's not good, that's not good at all. But somebody else will come and say, oh, have you heard of the name Pure? I say, wow, you heard of the name Pure? Oh my God. Now the expression, the whole idea, the whole concept, everything is bringing the attribute and the person says, is Pure that important? Yes, it is. Now he's getting to know his importance. So I want you to know, that's how you work on your list. Now, when you invite them, you are running EE. EE means expose every. You're exposing everybody to the plan. You're exposing everybody to what we have. You're exposing everybody you know. All those lists, you want them to come and see the presentation, either a video, either they listen to a three-way call, or either they get to the Zoom meeting live. You just keep exposing. Now, I want to share one secret about exposure. Don't stop. The person came one time, you stopped inviting him. No, oh, he attended one time, he said, awesome. Give him video again. He watched the video, he won't watch the video, awesome. Invite him again, tell him this. Anytime there's a new event, tell him, we edify the event again. You have to be on this meeting. If you run your exposure very well, it will lead you to FF. Guess what FF means? FF means the fortune you are looking for is in the follow-up. Effect. The fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. I was wondering why they didn't say the fortune is in CC. No, the fortune is not when you are drafting the contacts. 
the fortune is not in ee the fortune is in the follow up how many of these persons can you follow up so that's why i'm going to spend more time or uh, i'm going to explain what follow up very well in a way that you can start i created a simple system that allow me have my follow-up just go with ease. Anybody can build contact list. Contact list is built in different ways. Definitely that's why they have different ways. I build through free phone, I build through Facebook. Facebook, once in a while, I go on Facebook to write a book, hi, 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 hi. And they answer me, all I'm building is my I just need to know new persons in my life. So because your contact list should not run dry, you start with the ones you have, but you keep adding to it. How do you add to it? There are several ways you can add. To. Some people do list building, some people run an advert on Facebook. The advert will just pick people that are interested, and those persons will come to their life. You see, they will just join your lists. Have them on your list. And very important, have them on your WhatsApp list in a way that you guys can share WhatsApp number. So they see your lifestyle, they see your story. Because if they can consistently see your story, they will know you're a focused person. They won't lose sight. Some persons won't join you after one year. I have some leaders here today that just got into the business. I know very well they've been on my contact list, follow up list for like, let's say six months, some seven months, some eight months, some nine months. They just got registered now. So because At least not on the exposure is in the follow-up. How many persons can assess what how, how many persons can you bring back into business from the list you have already? So let me quickly share my system work on follow-up. How my system works on follow-up. What I'm doing that is helping me get a lot of persons to see it is it is. It all starts from there. Since the fortune is in the follow up, FF, fortune is in the follow up. Follow up then. So sorry for that. If you have hundred persons on your on hundred persons on your contact list, watch what will happen. Let's register. Oh my goodness, my board. I have to clean that and stuff there. So I have hundred. CC, CC, 100. If you have contact, your contact like crazy is 100. Definitely, if you're able to call this 100, some will pick your call, some will pick your call, some will say yes, show me the opportunity, some will say no, don't show me the opportunity. Let's assume the ones that say yes, show me the opportunity are the ones 50. Those 50, consider them on EE. They've seen the plan. If they see the opportunity, out of this 50, some will say, yes, I think I love it. Some will say, no, I don't want it. Some will say, it makes sense, but I can't join right now. I have other things I'm doing and all of that and all of that. Some will give you different reasons. Now, the ones that are looking like they are saying a positive thing, even if they can't join today because they don't have the money, but do they like it? If they say, yes, they love the company. All you want to know is, do you love the company? What's the reason why every time people see your presentation, all you need to ask them is, what best do you love about what you've had? And the person will say what he loved best. I love this, I love that, I love this, I love that. And then if they mention the things they love, that means this person loves what we're doing. 
have the person on your list. So let's assume out of the 50 that love, love what we have, you have 25. Just dividing it into half, 25 on your follow-up list. This 25, how do you put them on your follow? How do you know they're on your follow-up list right now? 25 is on your follow-up list. What I, do, what I do currently that is making it easier for me is I have a broadcast list for them. Now these guys on this list, I what I'm gonna be doing with these guys on this list because the follow up, they are all here. They are interested, but they don't have either money to join or they are tied up somewhere or they are not so sure they want to be in it, but they love pure, but they don't have what it takes to be in it now. Or they, they say later, give me some time, whatever, have them on this list. Now, what do I do with these guys on this list? You see, whenever I have a new testimony that is exciting, I send it to them here. A new testimony, I send it to them on that list. Whenever I have somebody that is about to join, I remind them that somebody is about to join. New member. You see, because the reason why you need that as a broadcast, you don't have to be sending this message one one to everybody. You just remind them that, hi, um, due to the fact that you saw this plan earlier, and I just want to remind you that I have some persons joining the business this week. If you choose to join today, I will put this person under your structure immediately. Simple and short, that's all. As at the time you might have spoken to that person, as at that time, the money might not be available. But the reason why follow-up is important is that when you are not reminding him, who knows, the money might be available now. But if you are not there, to put the follow up, they will spend the money on other things again. And you won't have them in your business. And it will be recorded that ah, they didn't join your business. But this is how we get them in. Simple. So you have new members. So testimonies. Whenever you have a new testimony, put it there. Like our Friday meetings, go and edify that Friday there. Wow. This is a must video for everybody to watch. In fact, right now, you need to watch this Funky Friday. Send Funky Friday recordings there. I have the recordings already. I'll forward it to us after this meeting. Now, you send it to them. They sit down and they listen. They just keep, what are we doing? What do you want to do with your follow-up list? You want to keep building trust for pure. You want to keep building your trust for pure. Once in a week, not every time, not every day. Once in a week. Once in a week, all I have to do with my list is, hi, good morning. And they start saying, good morning, Moses, half a Moses, good morning, Moses, half a Moses, and all of that, and all of that. And I moved straight to, um, maybe within that week, I dropped the video of, and I talk about that video. So when we watch the video, somebody will write to me and say, man, this pure is still on my mind, though. Kai, Kai, Moses, give me next week. Pop. I just got him remind, a reminder of it. That's the easy way. So I showed him, I showed him, I showed him. You see, if you don't have them on one list, you'll be confused about the numbers of persons. So if people are saying, if I share this video, and then one that caught the most again is when you let them know that somebody's about to, you know the way our system works, there's spillover, people can come, anybody joining now, the next person coming in will go under them. And I pity people not joining today because they are losing position. So if you let them know the amount of position they are missing, Somebody just sent a message to me and said, oh, I just got the stock is. One stock is alone is over 20 persons I'll be registering. And I will say to them, wow, Mr. A, stock is just landed in our business. This guy will be bringing such an amount of volume. 20 persons are joining. And if you take your position now, you have 20 persons under you. I have some persons like Dr. Stella and some people that joined last few weeks ago because there was a stock is coming in. And they came in automatically, they have about 4,000 to 5,000 points. Immediately they join because they came in and they took the position where there's a stock is coming under. And that gave them volume. 
So, like as I'm sharing right now with you guys here, is to let you know that broadcast testimony, new members can attract, sorry, your new members can attract people to pay their money fast. And consistent invitation once in a week. You invite these ones I have seen it, you can keep dropping once in a week or twice in a week, you give them an invitation to Zoom meeting again. Zoom meeting, you send them a link to join the Zoom meeting again because they are not so sure of what they had the first time. So we join back again. They will click the link and come and stay silently in the meeting. Now you didn't do the invitation first time. You're coming back by themselves. I have a lot of persons that have been joining this. When I wrote to them, they said they've been joining all the Zoom meetings. I said, wow, because they're on my list. There you can also move them to. I usually use WhatsApp group before, but I think when they're on a the broadcast, there's the one that you are sure is more sure of what you are doing with them. So I have them on the group WhatsApp group just because of general messages and for them to see the activities and noise that happens in the business. But the most important thing is to have this broadcast list. Because our products work, you always have new sign up. Because if you keep sharing those tes little testimonies like that, some of them, their elder sister is suffering from that problem. Their mother, their wife, their sister themselves is suffering from it. One way or you just can't don't assume, just do what you need to do. You just can't pray, you just can't tell who is going through that need at that moment. So this is the check. This is where we're working for. I will explain this and come back to this. WW is work with the willing. Out of all these persons that you are showing on the follow-up, please, you are looking for the willing ones work with the willing work with the willing even after registering them in a business work with the willing you see how i work with ease nobody's giving me a headache i have a list i'm sending a message the ones that will register i send them to that list if you come into my list sorry one minute and you are still giving me issues after checking my plan and you still don't know what to do by joining all I have to do is I get to leave them because WW, work with the willing. You cannot cry more than they bereave. You cannot help some persons beyond the way they can help themselves. We have classes they can join. We have past videos they can watch. We have websites they can go and read up. If the person is not ready to do any of these things, it will become a burden to you. Don't let anybody make you feel like you owe them anything. You don't owe anybody anything. Because if they start making the money, they will give you nothing. So the best thing is show them the system that have been designed for them. We have a system already. We have this meeting going on every Saturday. Any serious persons will come to this meeting. And if they don't come to this meeting, they are not ready. You don't have to blame them. Keep advising them till one day. Because the journey does not mean the person is ready to work. Some persons will join and start working six months after. Get used to it. But your focus in growing as a team builder is to focus on the willing ones. Work with the willing. The willing ones, teach them the process again. How to run their CC, how to run their EE, how to run their FF with ease. If you can duplicate this model I just showed you for, with 10 persons, those 10 will produce 10, 10. Now we're talking about 100. Those 100 will produce 10, 10. Now we're talking about 1,000. 1,000 will duplicate this over time. Now we're talking about, this is what you call duplication. I am going to teach these guys how to do their CC and the power of CC, the power of e, e, the power. Of, you need to get this recorded session. You need to play the video today. You need to have them watch this video consistently. If 10 persons watch it and they can build their CC to, F, to FF, they will grow in the business. Now to WW, work with the willing, work with the What are you working with the willing? You are showing them how to do the same thing. How to do the same thing. Work with the willing. Don't stress yourself with those that are not willing. You cannot cry more than they believe. You can't help a man that is not ready to help himself. Just move on. You brought him into business and he's not ready to attend any seminar. But he wants to be calling you on phone to run around like his errand boy. You will get frustrated with that person. 
because there is no amount, he has not bought it for himself because they join for different reasons. He might join because he felt he want people under him. One, he's joining because he has not bought it by himself. So he needs to keep coming for meetings till he can gain, grab it. But if he's not, keep moving on. WW. This circle has helped me a lot in building this business with ease. I do it with ease. I don't struggle for this thing. From day one, I've been doing this meeting. It is. I started Saturday Leadership Breakers with five persons. And I kept training these five, training these five, training these five, to move and all of that. Today, this is our number. But I want to shock you. I was never moved. If I don't see you here, I smile with you. I laugh with you. I know when you are ready to be serious, you know where to find me. Because I made it look that way so I can distract the weak people that are ready to, planning to distract me too. And attract only the serious people that want to go far with me. So, you do the same thing. Create, use a system that can allow you to filter people. So, you start with your list up. Get enough contact lists. So, imagine the goal is here. The work is here. Since the work is here, everything I'm doing is to work so fast so I can put more persons here. That's a strategy. Because if you have, more, if you have over 100 persons on this list and you're always giving them quality infos like this, that will increase your sign up. But if you have just three persons on your list, on your follow-up, it's just three. That means your sign up chances will be low. So the work here is how do I increase my follow-up list? How many persons do I have to follow up? That means you must have had enough persons you have contacted and you have shown the plan and now you have them on your list. You, know, you can't jump from joining today and have them on your list. But see what a lot of persons are doing. Immediately they join, this is what they are doing. They are not even, they don't have a list. They are not building on any list. And now, apart from not building on any list, they are not even exposing anybody properly by inviting them and defining what they have. What they are simply doing from the one is they are sending them message via boom. Come and listen to Pure. And apart from listening to Pure, they're giving them a viral message again. Boom! Come and do this. That's not it. That's not how it should be. The other day I made a mistake to even send to some of my broadcast lists. I didn't even plan. I was trying to send to another list on my follow-up list on my broadcast. It went, I didn't know. I just mistaken it in message. So I now looked at the one. I was I didn't like the message with them. So some lists that are just broadcast that I go legal it's good morning and good afternoon. That was all I do with that list. And then, and then I said, oh, okay, I'll thank you for a comment. My mind was like, that's not what I sent it for. I didn't even have any test because for me to have you is systematically, how many calls can I make in a day? Every day, I do nothing less than three calls for my own self before I talk about the this. Sometimes I increase it to five persons I need to make calls to for my own self. I just have to call. There's a difference between sending message and calling. So I send a lot of messages. These messages I can send to 10 to 15 persons. I will even forget that I'm even prospecting them because there are lots. They will just open and say, oh, tell me about it, tell me about it, but I will even forget. But if I make the call, I think I'll be specific on that person. I'll call that person and we'll talk and then we'll share the plan. I'll send him videos he'll watch and I'll call back again and know that which one have you watched? Are you done? What do you have to say about it? And the person said, okay, I love this, I love that, I love that, awesome. Why are you not making decision now? Most times they don't have money to join now. They don't have, okay, can I just, I'll just add them on my follow-up list. They need to be knowing what we are doing consistently and this is what you need to do. Now, for those who want to come in as a stockist, imagine if you bring 20 persons for us, for me, to mentor how to use the CC, the E, E, the F, F, the WW, and they're on your left and they're on your right. Why don't you make money? Because every week, it's like you now have an engine that is working for you on autopilot. C-C-E-E-F-F, -F, that's what we do here. Contact like crazy, support, uh, e -E, expose every to see the plan and you learn how to expose by edification and invitation. Edification and invitation, don't forget, edify that thing. Edify your upline. Don't just say, I have one guy, Mr. Jose Alibo. An engineer, no, he's a next rising star. If he's the number one guy, he's the number one guy of the company. If he's among the top, he says he's among the top leaders in the company, he's among one of the top income earners in the company. Edify that guy, that lady right there is a next rising star. 
her, what she's pulling out in the month to take her up in no time. And I think she's a great mentor. We want to listen to her. Edify, then they can talk on your behalf. Or you edify the video. I listened to one audio by one of the top income earners in this company. This dude is a mentor. Hearing the things he's dropping is crazy. I want you to listen to him because I've listened to him. For my kind of person who don't usually buy into things like this, I'm buying into what he said. And I want you to listen. Please open your mind and listen. And please get back to me. How do you want to edify? I don't know. Edify. Invite them immediately to check it out. You know, divide the Zoom meeting, you divide your offline, you divide the videos you want to watch and invite them. And then function it in the follow-up. You're working hard to get them into your follow-up list. That's all you're doing it for. Because the follow-up is where the job comes smooth. All you have to do is every week you have a phone you're going to drop information. You have a phone you're going to put a reminder to. And this works for those of the guys doing online sales too. If you're running online sales, those persons, a lot of persons will say, I want the product, I want the product, I want the product. The same formula, not all of them will buy. But find a way to get their contacts. Go and create them in a list. Those ones on diabetic alone, create them in a list. Every time you get a similar testimony, drop it on that list. Every time there's a new promo on the product, drop it on the list. Someone just said, oh, wow, 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 just go there and show your excitement. We truly have satisfied customer. Our customers are happy. This is a testimony from one of the recent customers on so, 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 so disease. That is for your contact. That's the same rules that you are having because these people showed interest on the product. Keep giving them product testimonies. The ones on the business plan, keep showing them how good pure is and all of that. And then always let them know when people are about to register. And out of the ones that will join, work with the meaning. Thank you very much. This is where I want to stop for us right here. Okay, I did all this because this is the last training I'll be doing on Saturday on morning for the seven days drive. And I have to go all back to back like this for us to get value. If you got value from this meeting, drop the word value, 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 value. Somebody said, how do I list? Okay, let me quickly take some of our questions right here. Dossi came, just connected my colleague in SA. She has been waiting for the right network business. She's excited already. Is she right here in the house? She's right here. Just let me know. Francis and Bier, congratulations, Dossi came. Thank you. Um, that's so true. Intelligent status, friends. Okay. Anything you don't give value to, people will not give value to it. Education is a key boss. Thank God I have my leaders on the call today. This is so on point. Please repeat, sir. Let's work, okay? Follow-up is the key. Without follow-up, your, your is not growing. Your list is not growing. How do I list them on broadcast? Very simple. Broadcast listing is very simple. Go to your phone. You will see broadcast. Put in the names of the people there. Always have them. Grow your broadcast list. Imagine if your follow-up list is, every broadcast list is 250. So imagine if you grow your broadcast list of full up is to 250, 250 persons or more. You're a leader. If you hit 250 broadcast list on people that have seen presentation, they have seen the plan through you. Now, if you want to make more money than anybody, go fast in crushing the numbers. That's a simple thing. It's a numbers game. If you have seen 250 on your broadcast list, man, then imagine when you now have two broadcast lists on follow up. These are the things I'm just doing with ease. Just think of how many persons on the broadcast list. Then there are certain names sometimes you need to delete. You've been sending them messages and one day they will just pop up like, I think I don't want things like this. I just want to focus on one thing called Forest or one thing called this one to do that. Remove them on your follow-up list. Keep adding the names. So we'll be appreciating you. Thank you for not forgetting me. Thank you. And the good thing is even if they won't join, there will be somebody who will refer somebody one day. Somebody will have a serious issue. They will start talking about pure. I have a guy right here. I think um, the parents called me that they want to know about Pure because their son has been talking about Pure and their son needs money to join. Why? Because he has been on my list. He hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen Pure. He hasn't seen Pure. He trusts Pure. So he went to come and tell his parents, this is a company you, everybody should join. And that's what you want to enjoy because you have more persons on your list. So if you... 
they are they are good people and i know they are good leaders okay great value great value excitement and follow-up are key ingredients okay so much value Fiona, good God bless you, Moses. You have given me so much value for the past seven days. That will last me for a lifetime and I appreciate you. All right. So quick one now. We're going to just have us people who want to share something. Jacob Jack wants to share something. We're opening this mic. Jacob Jack, can we hear from you quickly, sir? The mic is open. Hello, Jacob Jack. Hello. All right. So I don't know if you want to say something. Uh, but we have Gary Apos, a great leader like Gary Apos. Between Gary Apos and uh, someone got nine. Is it Dozi? Dozi had nine person. Okay, these guys have their leaders on this room. All right, Gary Apos, I want to open your mic. Let's hear from Gary Apos. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Am I loud enough? You're loud and clear. Okay, great, great, great. Well, today's meeting was powerful. Super, super powerful. And the fact that you are more on edification is what I love the most. Because I've seen this thing work. I've seen this thing work a lot. The aspect of edification. And uh, I remember my first talk is came through as a result of edification. I believe you still remember Barry's and Wayne. When she saw the plan, the lady who told her about the stockings plan has identified me very, very well to her. Okay. Now, once mistake people make is instead of edifying the upline, they edify the prospect to the upline. <laughs> mm -hmm. tell you, oh, oh, this person, ah, this person is a professor. He has this. He goes to the U.S. You are trying to scare the upline. Stop edifying the prospect to the upline. Instead, edify the upline to the prospect. It's better the upline don't know the achievement of the prospect. That that point is in a state of control. So the barista lady, she's someone that uh, most of our family members are outside. She has money. She has direct contact with River State Governor. The PDP chairman of River State is her friend. But this lady didn't go about telling me that this person is this and that. Instead, she went about telling her that this guy is a young guy, still in school, but he's clocking six figures every single month every single week and, and and the lady was like wow i would really love to know this guy so but she didn't she didn't identify mr moses like that she just said this is our leader and so when they made that that call to close okay so look, mr moses told her said ma i think you should do 1.2 said no to do this spot at the end of the day when uh the lady mrs maureen who connected us called me and said she, she agreed on six forty. i said okay send me a number because she has identified me before. I called her that morning and I said, Ma, I heard you want to do stock. She said, Yes. Which of the packages are you looking at? I said, I want to start with 640. I said, Okay, Ma. There's no problem with 640, but do you enjoy suffering? She said, Well, how do you mean? Now, there's no way I would have had such confidence to talk to her if I was told uh, she has achieved this, she has done that, she's this, she's that. But because I knew fully well that the person who connected us has done a proper work on education. I told her, Ma, 640. You're suffering yourself because your stock can finish every single day. And then you have some days without protocol. You have to wait for them to restock you. I said, so at, at your level, you should be looking at 1.2, 2.5. So before your product finishes, you have enough time to restock. Immediately, she said, send me the account number. I'm making payment. In less than five minutes because of proper edification. I've had this in several, several uh, occasions. So edification is something we need to learn. We need to learn. There's one audio, one YouTube uh, video I usually send to my downline most of the time, my broadcast list for my teammates, on how to edify. Okay, the author of Build an Empire did a video on how to edify. You need to edify this person. If you make it look like it's just one guy, okay, people just people will just easily say, okay, let me listen to him. At the end of the day, you just trash whatsoever you said. Okay, now another thing I would love to comment about uh, today's meeting is. The aspect of the stockist program. Stockist program is, is, is like one of the best ways to run your business. Just like Dangote uh, and his company, Smith Factory, without the distributors, the business will go nowhere. Dangote Smith will not get to some interior villages without the distributors. The guys who come and say, I want to register as a distributor of Dangote's company. That is how your stock is. That is how your stock is. Are. There are guys who come in, 
they want to register as pure potacot, pure potacot, Sumo Masi, pure potacot, Garrison, pure potacot, whatever location. And these guys come up and start up a team immediately. Okay. Now, as stockists, you should see yourself as the company, the representative of pure in that location. And you should also be willing to render customer services. You shouldn't just do your stockist program like any other person. Just if you want to come pick, pick, you don't give people, uh, you don't treat them like customers. Okay. Now, one stockist I love a lot is Mr. Shinedo. I think the guy, the guy is just in understand this thing. Okay. Now, a lot of people that pick product from Mr. Shinedo in Portacos are not even in this organization. They are not even connected to him. There have been times where I will call him up and say. I want to pick it up for you this time. I want to pick one pack, two packs. Because he understands the customer services. It makes you feel relaxed. It makes you feel like this is home. You can come here anytime to pick products. You can come here anytime you feel like. And so for that reason, he attracts a lot of people coming in. And he's turning over every week as a result of that customer services. So as stockists, uh, we need to master that. And as leaders, we need to understand that every single place we open up a stock is our business has started there. Don't, don't, don't be afraid of who the product move. When I wanted to open up a stock center in Lagos, I was thinking, when I asked someone who was coming as a stock how would this product move? But the moment the person came in, among the 10 guys that came in, none of them, 10 MC brought, none of them were living in Lagos. We have to devise this. And because there is a need, now my focus enter that location and things started growing up there. I started having people sign up, other persons there because my attention has moved to that location. Every single aspect, Kaduna and other locations. So the truth is, as leaders, open up your mind. There can never be too much stockies, too many stockies. There can never be. You can have directly on that, you can have 200 stockies and they will all be doing their business very well. Okay, so, so uh, we need to put in that energy. And uh, there's one of my stockists I love the most. I love very well, not the most, but I love very well. He came in with a very big pack, 2.5. But he's one person that understands that this thing is my business. This thing is not me trying to help you. It's me doing my business. And it's contributing a whole lot to the movement of his product. So stockists come in and they wait for people to come and pick from them first. If you understand the business, you understand that Every person you connect to pick product from you directly, you also make referral bonus. And at the end of the day, you still get your stockies program. So people are pushing in, people are devising me on how to close this thing, how to move this thing. This thing is like every other business. You need to understand uh, several aspects. You need to run delivery services. Anyhow, you know you can push this thing. Push it on your team and your business will explode. So uh, that was it for me. And uh, the aspect of identification is one. Uh, area we shouldn't play with. I think everyone needs to work on that. Thank you, sir. Wow. Awesome. 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 That was a powerful one from Gary Apos. Wow. Great value. Great value. Great value. Great value. Great value. Great value. Who else want to share one or two things? You have a great value. You want to say something about this meeting. Quick one. Today I had to go through. I knew I, I shoot very long because I wanted a lot of persons to pick something quickly before we move on. Okay, you've been having great value. This is our last training for the week. Last training for the week. If you've been receiving value enough, let me know. Let me know. I'm going to open your mic for you right now to say something. I have um, a BA. IBA, and I believe it's the IBA, I know, but I'm going to open your mic right now, except it's a different one. Hello. 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 Can, Can you hear? guys hear me? Yes. Are you the one? Hello. Are you the IBA, I know? Hello. Can you hear me? The mic went off. Okay. The mic is open now. Hello. Can you unmute your mic from your end? I'm trying to open it here. Okay. Say Can something. You hear me let now? me see very loud and clear okay H hello everyone hello meeting um yeah. i'm fairly busy, but um this meeting is really remarkable because i learned so much so much and then talking about edifying in fact these points are so you raised in fact i'm going to start practicing mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and um, i don't have anybody on 
call, but I'll make sure I send this information to my people. Thank you so much, Mr. Moses. You're doing a great job. Okay. All right. So that was a great one from ABA. I'm happy you were able to notice that you don't have anyone on the call. That's how people assess their team groups. When you look into the meeting, you can tell if you're growing or not because you don't have anybody on the call. No growth. All right. I have great leaders right here, people who just joined the business. And I believe they are just joining us for the first one week and they are excited about what they are saying right here. I have a fee, a Zeno. If it's Zeno, I want to open your mic, sir. Uh, we just love to hear your voice, what you have been picking from the past. What do you think about Pure, running with Pure and how you are? Hello, sir. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Three, eight, four, three, seven, one, six, zero. Yes. Hello, Mr. Ife. Are you there with us? Two, four, five, four, one, four. Yes. I think it's busy. It's business setting number to someone. When he's ready, he will get on top with us. I have Nathan, I promise. Nathan, I promise want to say something. Hello, Nathan, I promise your mic. Can you unmute your mic from your end? Can you unmute your mic from your end? Can you unmute your mic from your end? I just try opening it now. You have to do it from your end. Unmute your mic from your end, Nathan. Okay. Nathan, I promise. Can you unmute okay. your mic okay. for me? All right, so. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me loud and clear? Very loud and clear. Okay. Well, it's really a privilege for me to be on the um, leadership meeting this morning. I've just been hiding myself, but I think it's right time for a corp to be alive. Mm. So uh, I want to make I want to make something very clear to all of us. You know, this uh, I was talking to a lady this morning about the stock is category. And uh, so many people have this perspective that they are you're actually coming to do pure uh, a service. No, it's a very wrong perspective. It was cleared up this morning. You know, like uh, Mr. Gary was my good friend rightly said, he said, you can't have jungle to products delivered or retailed to you if you don't have those sub-distributors, those dealers. I've transacted with Coca-Cola as a company, you know, Coca-Cola understands what it means to be in business, so they spend so much in advertisement. But Pure decided not to get that money out there to the air. Rather, they decided to invest in themselves by investing in the stockist. So you coming in as a stockist, you're actually getting, so people don't really understand that IBO category. So when you hear independent business owner, it means you are the boss. So you decide the level and the way you want your business to grow. So you are not really doing pure service, right? Pure is giving you a service because if you're a pharmacist today and you're on this call and you decide to want to go into um, production of um, supplements, production of drugs, oh, that's good. But trust me, you're going to be spending a whole lot of fortunes. And before you start ripping off from that investment, you're looking at if you're fast enough, 10 to 15 years. But you have a company that has done all the assignments for you, done all the dirty work for you, and gives you the opportunity of just being a CEO. What more could you possibly ask for? Stockers category gives you the opportunity of being, of that very statement that say, your money works for you. That is what the stockers category does for you. So if you want to grow fast, you want to be sure, you want to reach out to people. The lady was telling me, well, I, I don't really have those who are sick. I said, we'll give you that mentality that for supplements are for sick people. That's a lazy man's mentality. Everybody deserves good health. Everybody deserves to detoxify. Everybody deserves to have their immune system boosted. So now is even the right time. Some persons are telling me, well, after the pandemic, I'll see what I'll do. Adam, we're talking about having your immune boosted and you're saying after the pandemic. After the pandemic, would you have the need to boost your immune? So this is the right time. That's all I'm just trying to say. If you have wow. anybody in your contact list telling you after this period, you just need to. That's where the edification comes in. You just need to tell them that the right time is now. Like a Chinese proverb once said, the best time to plant the tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is now. So strike it while it's hot. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Awesome. Thank awesome. You very much. Great one from here. Thank you from you, Matane. That was a great value from you. Okay. 
who has a game before we close this meeting you have a great value from the meeting the training you have to share you want to share it you want me to open your mic i will do that right now if you ask me to open your mic and then we can hear your voice for the first time who has a game you have something you picked from this meeting you are sure before we close the meeting you want me to open your mic just put your hands up or send a message i want something to say on the chat and i will do that immediately i've been checking who else do you have anything to say quick one quick one all right okay okay now i want to want to close this meeting i want to have uh, our emerald director tom brabatu uh, he's going to say the final word on this meeting and close us on this meeting and say one or two things to us closing this priority knowing this is the end of our training for the week i'll be opening his mic and then he will close us in this meeting with enough vibes and that will be the end of it all right without wasting much time uh, i think i have tombra here tombra but hello sir good morning yes can yeah. you hear from him right now good morning good morning good morning it's it's been an awesome week, seven days grind beginning from Monday till now. And for everyone that has been through uh, through the seven days or six days or five days with us, you can tell that the value that, that you've gotten from this mentorship session, this period has, has been beyond words. Basically, um, I think in all the trainings and all the mentorship sessions that we've had um, in the past um, one year plus, I think this seven days grind has been the most concise, the most, the most concise, the most um, effective training basically we've had. So I just want to encourage everyone that, that is on the call, whether it's your first time being here, you've been in the business for a while. I just want you to, to just take everything you've learned and just press the reset button on yourself. Press the reset button on yourself, use what you've learned and basically let's make me one of the biggest months that we've that, that, we're, that we're going to experience together as a community. Because trust, trust me, the months, the year is going by, the month is rolling up, and, and at the end of the year, um, the results have to show. Because if you've been doing something, if you've been applying this thing, the results will show. If you've not been doing anything, and just been lying down, sleeping, and, and catching fun with what is important with what we're saying, the results will also show. So let's make it such that make it a point of duty that the results will show for us. It's not just gonna be Moses doing well and clapping for Moses' great value or clapping for Gary Akbar's awesome speech or clapping for Laurel, Laurel, I love you. No, let's make it so, so that the people that will be coming into the business three months down, they're gonna be calling your name and say, oh, I, I love you, you're doing well and all that. And that's only gonna happen because you take the information that you've heard today and basically apply it. And in the process of application, I just want us to say, understand this, that you've, you've come into, you've come into um, a state of, of conscious competence, right? So as we move into the mouth, you're going to fail. You're going to have, you're going to have periods of failures. Right? You're going to create your own broadcast. You're going to try to make your own calls. The phone is going to get heavy. It's like when Moses was saying it on the call, it was sounding so sweet on his mouth. <laughs> but it's not sounding so sweet when you are saying it. So you're going to have that phase. So when you go into that phase, know that it's also going to pass. Every one of us and every individual that you see doing well went through that phase as well. So if they could go through that phase and come out at the other end, you too can go through the phase and come out at the other end as well. So I'm just I'm just excited about everyone, guys, because I know the other day, as the year comes, so I'm going to celebrate a whole lot of you, and uh, we're, we're we're going to celebrate in the fact that 2020 has really been one of our best year ever. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys, for being on the call. Thank you for believing in the mission. Thank you for believing in the vision. Thank you for being present and thank you because you're going to give yourself the best gifts of making it work for yourself. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Tom Brabatsubo. That was a great one. Thank you for what you do. All right. So if uh, this guy wants to say something, Ikechuku, let's hear from Ikechuku, quick one. And then, hello, Mr. Ikechuku, can you please unmute your mic from your end? The mic, can you unmute it from, from your end? You have to unmute your mic from your end. 